Dan or Danny Boy, originally from the East Coast, moved out here last year. Hold on, to tell you. Um, I definitely want to say thank you to the Occupy movement for actually being the people, everyone, not like some movements where it's just a group of bigots. And I'm not saying that's every one of different movements, I'm just saying that's what I know a lot. The Occupy movement, I'm glad to have my daughter around, just everyone. That being said, um, somebody asked me why you know, I came here and I went to the march yesterday. It's because um, I come from a background of, of just, you know, doing nothing, just getting in trouble all the time back in the day, drinking a lot, doing drugs, and then before my daughters were born, I got a little politically active, but I, I, I didn't care. I thought, you know, oh man, just let's make some money and do what we need to do. Saw friends die, saw friends arrested, and uh, and then just, especially after my daughters, this is my oldest daughter, my youngest is at home with my uh, my mother, and uh, after my daughters were born, I just realized that I gotta, I gotta say something, I gotta be a part of something. I run an internet radio show where uh, I say my opinions a lot. And uh, basically, just through the years of just, and also just studying history, it's just to the point, enough is enough. Enough of the nonsense that we all see that's going on out there. Enough of, you know, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Well, enough of that. We need to come up with solutions. Because 20, 30 years from now, I don't want the, there to have to be a movement or anything. I just want us to all be in this park, just hanging out. My daughters with their kids, just having a good time. You know, it's just, I, I've lost a friend in Iraq. I've, I've as mentioned friends in jail. All stuff that's just part of the plan. Yes, people need to take responsibility. What happens when our leaders do crimes that make our, you know, if our friends get into crime or whatever, they, the, our leaders do crimes that make theirs seem petty. I'm not covering up for actions of, of, of people who have done some bad stuff. But let, let, let's get to the point, let's get to the point that we need to hold, if we're going to hold the common people responsible for their actions, then let's do it to the government and the bankers. You know, I have friends that are labeled real, I, I have friends that are labeled thugs and gangsters, you know, full white trash and black and Latinos just hanging out in the hood and drinking or whatever, and they're labeled whatever. But the real gangsters are the bankers, are the government. You know, but it's stuff that needs to be discussed. Everybody who has an open mind, we all just need to come together like we're doing now and just think of a plan. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I have the perfect plan, because to that is, is arrogance. I just think we all need to come together, do what we need to do, and let's make sure it's on, you know, on a positive tip. This gets me hyped and I get angry, but when, when I see good people around, it, it brings a positive you know, peace to, to me. And, like I said, I just want a good future for my daughter. I don't want them growing up like I did and some other people I know. And on that note, just tell you say one quick thing. We gotta go, okay? Say one So, right, thank you though. Oh, that was the radio show. It's every Wednesday, uh, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's called Dano Radio, and it's Dano Radio Fam. And it's F A M, like family. It's DanoRadioFam.com. Thank you.